Hi everyone. In today's session, we'll be talking about the click actions. What are the different elements where we can perform the click actions? So these are the four commands which will be covered as part of this particular session. Is click, is enabled, is displayed, is select. What does this does and how we will do? In the previous sessions, we learned how do we perform actions on different browsers and all those things, right? So in this program, we are going to learn how do we perform the actions of selecting a radio button, selecting a checkbox, selecting an element from the drop down and clicking on a button, etc. So click actions can be performed on drop downs, radio buttons, checkboxes, buttons, hyperlinks. So the list boxes, these are all the different elements which we can perform the actions on a list box on uh, using click. Okay, so let's create a class and do the programming over here. So I'm just creating a class saying that click program and just giving the name and in the previous sessions we already learned how do we invoke the Chrome browser and all those things. So I'm just copy pasting the piece of code from the previous program. So initializing everything is done. I just need to change it to constructor. I have changed it. Okay. So now the first thing we learned is how do we invoke a URL or append a URL in the given browser. So driver dot get is a command that performs the action of appending the URL in the invoked browser. Driver dot get performs the action of appending the URL in the given empty browser. Okay. So I just want to invoke one website. So I'm just taking one website called some deal for loans website. Okay. So here you go. And you could see that when I right click and run as testing this particular URL will be appended. We'll learn about testing in the testing sessions. It's a separate session which will be covering about testing and all those things. And here you could see the browser getting invoked and appended with the URL. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes, uh, it is in our screen how we up, uh, keep our browser. So if your browser screen is half, if you want to maximize the window, then how would we cover do that? So in Selenium to perform the action of maximizing the window to the full screen of your laptop or desktop, we use a command called driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. This command will maximize the window to the screen of your computer. So just let's run it and see how we maximize the window. Here you could see the window getting maximized to the screen size. See, this is how we perform the action of maximizing the window. So in this website, I want to perform an action of selecting a city from this drop down and and selecting the checkbox and clicking on the button. Okay, so let's do it. So first of all, let me identify a city from this drop down. So I want to identify Chennai from this drop down. Okay. So we learned in our XPath approaches that we cannot use this XPath. I'm just trying to perform the action of writing a customized XPath. So please go through the previous videos to learn how we perform the action on uh, identifying the elements using the XPath. So I have identified this. Now I am trying to perform the action of clicking on it. So by dot xpath and placing the xpath that I identified dot click. So dot click is a command that performs the action of selecting an element from the drop down. Okay. So next I want to perform unchecking the checkbox. Okay. So select this checkbox and here I have a name. So I'm taking the name. I know that it is unique, so directly I'm taking it. So I'm going to perform multiple actions on this particular checkbox. So that's the reason I'm capturing it in a web element variable. I'm just giving the web element variable name as A. So by dot name, because I am identifying that particular element with name. So by dot name and putting the semicolon at the end. Because in our first session of where we were trying to perform the actions on the text boxes, we learned that any element on a given web application in Selenium 
is treated as a web element. Here you see it is a web element. So that's the reason I captured it in a web element variable called A. You can give any naming convention over there. Now I am performing click operation on it. Next, I want to perform the action on this particular get code button. Here I have a class. I don't have a name and class name. And I know that it is unique. So I'm simply performing the action of identifying it and performing the action of clicking on it. Okay. So there is only single action on it. So that's the reason I'm performing the action of clicking on it. So now let's run it and see how the action is performed. Let's see what is happening. Now you could see Chennai is selected and it clicked on the get code button. That's the reason we are getting the error over here and the OE authorized checkbox is unselected. If you could see by default it is selected and because of the click it got unselected. So now I want to validate that whether this really the checkbox is selected or not. How would I validate? For that only we have the command called is selected. Is selected is the command that performs the action of validating whether a radio button or checkbox is selected or not. Whether a radio button or checkbox. For both of them we have only one command called is selected. So if a radio button or checkbox is selected or not, if you want to validate, we use E selected. So before clicking, that is before performing the click action, it was already selected. So I want to check whether it is selected or not using Selenium. So E selected, A dot E selected. The return type of E selected is Boolean. So I'm capturing it in a Boolean variable called some B. And now I'm trying to print it. So I'm using system dot out dot println is checkbox selected now plus b in the same way i want to perform the action of click after clicking i want to validate whether it is selected or not so here i'm going to capture it in a variable called c now let's see what is going to happen so now let's run it and see what it is going to return before click and after click okay so let's see what is the output over here so the actions are performed now I'm closing the browser let's see the console output and here you go the console output says is checkbox selected true that was before click is checkbox selected false after click so that's how I can say that is selected can be used to perform the action of validating whether a given element is selected or not because whenever we perform an action on it, we need to validate whether it is really performed or not. Otherwise, whatever the code that we write, whatever the test cases that we automate is of no use. Okay. So now the next, I want to validate. Here, are you able to see this checkbox? I am I am trying to enter some text into that text box, but I am not able to enter. Why? The reason is this text box is inactive state, disabled state. So if I select anything from this drop down, then it becomes active. How would I really validate that this checkbox is active or inactive? So, so before selecting the check, uh, before selecting an element from the drop down, I want to validate whether this checkbox is this, whether this text box is active or inactive. Okay. So again, multiple actions. So I am going to take it in a web element variable. So I'm just identifying it. Here you go. I have identified it. So it's web element sum D equal to. So I'm just taking it in a variable called D. Now I want to print whether it is really selected, whether it is active or inactive. Is text box active? So plus D. Now the same thing after selecting from an element from the drop down. So let me try to identify one element from this drop down and then perform the action again. So now slash slash option opening and closing square braces text with method parenthesis equal to this one. 
one matching node. Please go through the previous sessions of XPath approaches so that you can get a clear picture on how we are identifying the elements. So driver dot find element by dot id. Is it id? No, I am identifying that element with XPath. So, so XPath dot click. So now I am selecting it. Now again I want to validate whether this particular text box is active or not. But if you see, I directly printing it. It's not right. E D dot is enabled. Is enabled is a command that performs the action of validating whether a element is active or inactive. There are many applications where there will be admins, super admins, normal users, where admins will be given with certain privileges. Super admins will have all the privileges. Normal user may not have all the anything. So they will deactivate some elements. So you cannot act. I per, uh, per, perform the actions on it. So how do you uh, identify whether you that element is active or inactive? To do that, we use this is enabled. Okay. So the written type of is enabled is boolean again. So boolean some e equal to. So is text box active? E. The same thing after selecting the element from the drop down. Let's see what it does. So E F now again F. Let me see what it is going to do when I run this program. So I'm just saving it. Now right click run as testing G. Now let's see what happens. Now invoked actions performed. Let me close the browser and see. See is text box active? Before selecting from the drop down, it is false. After selecting the element from the drop down, it is true. So to validate whether an element is active or inactive, we use is enabled. Now, if you see here, when I'm clicking on this particular element, I'm getting an error message. I'm getting an error message. How would I validate this error message is displayed or not? How would I validate whether an element is there or not? whether a success message is there or not, error message is there or not, a radio button is there or not, button is there or not, whether a given web element is there or not, how will you validate? <coughs> to validate whether a given element is there or not on a given web application, we use is displayed. Is displayed is a command that performs the action of validating whether a given element is there or not. If you see this hint anchor, you are able to see, right? I am trying to search here. You could see this. This hint anchor is displayed. I'll refresh this page. Now you could see this hint anchor is lost. Just see, see red color. That means that element is not there. So that element is lost because that particular error message is lost. Okay. So to validate whether a given element is available or not, we use is displayed dot is displayed. Okay. So the written type of is displayed is again boolean. Okay. So I'm trying to perform an action on boolean g equal to. Okay. So now let me run it. Before running, I need just to need to print it. Is error message displayed. So plus g. Now let's run it. Okay. So there is one disadvantage with is displayed. What is that disadvantage? Whenever a particular element is not displayed, it will not give you false. It will throw an error. No such element exception. Why? The main reason for that is, I'll tell you. Let's see the output. Is error message displayed? True. Why? The main reason is, just now I shown you that hint anchor is not displayed here. So when that particular element that you are trying to identify itself is not there, when this find element itself is not there, that is this hint anchor itself is not there, it will not go till is displayed. It will not go till click. It will not go till is displayed. When this particular find element, whatever the element you are trying to locate by dot is not at all not there, this particular 
it will not go till that command. So that's the reason if the element is not there, it will throw an error, no such element exception. I'll show you. Now I am trying to perform the action of not clicking on the button. When I'm not clicking on the button, I'm not going to get this hint anchor. You will not see false rather than it will throw an error, no such element exception. Just see now what it is going to perform. See? Yes. Now let's see what happened. See? No such element exception. Let's see where it has thrown error. So I was using the program name as click program. See here 43 line. See? This element. Because hint anchor itself will not be there when you un when that particular when we are not clicking on it. So that's a disadvantage with ease display. When you when element is there it will return true, but when the element is not there, it will return no such element exception. So you need to handle it through Java try catch if you want to print some true or false exactly like that. Okay. So this is all about these commands. Click is enabled, is displayed, is selected. Once again to repeat, click can be used for drop downs, radio buttons, check boxes, buttons, list boxes, hyperlinks. Is enabled can be used for radio buttons and check boxes to validate whether it is selected or not. Sorry, is selected. Whereas an is enabled can be used to validate whether a given element is active or inactive. So this is how you perform the actions on a given elements with these commands. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you.